ライオン神エスカノール様だフルエルサ Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Critic Alex, and I love to do speculation videos on Marvel Future Fight on my other channel, Cynic Alex. And I thought I would try my hand at some Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross speculation. So keep in mind that these are just my opinions, and keep in mind that I have absolutely no basis of you know evidence to prove that anything I'm about to say is actually going to happen. So you can't blame me if it does happen or if it doesn't happen. But it's fun nonetheless. Now it all starts with a sad, rainy. Summer day? I guess it was summer. Green Lilia. So the whole Green Lilia fiasco comes out. We don't get six copies. We don't even get one copy of Green Lilia for free. You know, everything erupts. Uh, the dev note happens. Doesn't even say Green Lilia. Yada, yada, yada. And we're here. She was a step up banner, even though she was free on JP with five extra copies, which is, you know, a way to max out her alt or get some cosmetics. So suddenly we have this divide between uh, and this sort of clear stark contrast between what JP got and what global gets and although we haven't had many examples of that we've had actually more than one we've had issues with coin shop characters and, and wording there and some other things as well but um, let's let's sort of take that to the next step what if global is going to continue to do things quite differently from JP because although Seton did say that you know they have a really easy job for the global team of this game they just have to translate this game and then make it as good or better than JP I actually disagree with some of the logic there I don't think that that's simply their job because one they're completely different teams uh, the, the global team and the JP team I don't think it's just a translation team that does this game I think it's actually a, a brand new team uh, that works on this game um, and also you want to take pride in your work you don't want to just copy someone else's work sure you're working on the same game sure you work for the same parent company but think about it that way if you worked for the global team would you want to just sit there copying every event and every banner and everything that the jp server did step by step because there's a really good chance that jp uh will always be ahead of global and that global will never actually catch up to jp and so the global team has a tricky task on their hands where they actually have to make this game not only interesting for global players that are new but also potentially very interesting and enticing for jp players who want to play global either in addition to jp or instead of jp so i actually don't think that the game just needs to be translated and then made better or the same i actually do think that the game needs to be different now i understand where seton was coming from in terms of like the essence of what he's trying to say in that and i do agree with the essence of what he was trying to say and i do think the green lilia situation was completely mishandled however it does open up the possibilities uh for changes that are better um you know because the green lilia change from jp to global was worse or like easily it's not even arguable it's just objectively worse but in the future we could be and in the very near future is my speculation uh we could be seeing some really amazing differences that actually make global look better by comparison to jp and there's always going to be that comparison so what am i talking about well if you go on certain websites certain twitter accounts certain other youtube channels you may or may not have seen certain images that indicate certain characters that are yet unreleased but should be coming to global soon and although global doesn't do exactly everything step by step the way that jp does we've followed roughly the same pattern of characters um, with a few notable exceptions the, the big exception was that gother and gallon came at the exact same time on global that did not happen on jp but um otherwise like you know we haven't jumped ahead to any characters besides escanor um in a large way so the the characters that are missing not from my box but the characters that are missing from the game right now you can see here if you take a look at the sds gc uh tier list there is well i gotta tab over to it myself as well there are a couple of unreleased characters here that that the global team that that, that, that created this that also plays jp is anticipating seeing very soon so they're anticipating seeing green matrona diane or green small diane very soon she's a good farming character and she's a good association for king as most of the matronas as all of the matronas are uh we have Melascula, who i'm not going to comment on and then over here we have blue merlin now we don't have blue lilia she would probably be like up here in s or sss s s tier uh <laughs> sss tier um but uh yeah blue lilia would be the other one so we have green matrona diane here and you can read up on her i'm not too interested in, in covering her but the ones that i want to focus on for the 100 day event that we're going to be seeing in about a week and a half are blue merlin and blue lilia because these are i think the, these three are the last key characters before we sort of enter the next phase i think of updates 
uh, for, for, for Global, for Seven Deadly Sins, Grand Cross. Now, there isn't much connection between Blue Matrona Diane and Blue Merlin and Blue Lilia, except that two of these are Sins and one of them is an OC. But there is quite a lot of connection between Blue Lilia and Blue Merlin. So my speculation here, the, the sort of the grand thing that I'm guessing could happen, and I'll explain why, is I think for the 100 day event, and again, I'm just speculating, for the 100 day event, we are going to see a Blue Lilia step up banner. And the Blue Lilia step up banner is going to include the chance to get like a, a rate up chance to get Blue Merlin. And we're going to get 10 of those multis as they promised in the dev note. So if you didn't read the dev note, the dev note basically said that we were going to be getting the white waving flag uh, cosmetics for free for all seven of the sins minus Escanor, but plus Elizabeth, you know, like the the six and a half sins, the the sort of scuffed sins uh, version. And then we would also be getting 10 multis for the 100 day banner. But we don't know what the 100 day banner is. Some more cynical people are guessing that the 100 day banner is going to be just blue Merlin, which would be kind of awful. I mean, free is free. I'm not going to complain about free. And the difference between green Lilia and blue Merlin is probably not gigantic. But let's be honest, blue Merlin is the worst Merlin. She's not as good as green and she's not as good as red. Um, although she has some interesting uh, attacks for PvP. And then uh, Blue Lilia is obviously the best by far out of the three there. The two Lilias and then the Blue Merlin. So yeah, that's my speculation. Now, why do I think that's what Global is going to do? Well, I think that's what Global is going to do because putting them together on one step up banner uh, expedites things or sp speeds things up. We've had a lot of single banners on Global that JP didn't have. Like, you know, we had the Bond single banner. We're having Melly single banner. We're having a lot of other single banners um, for characters. On top of the fact that Blue Merlin, or not just Blue Merlin, but Merlin and Lilia have a strong connection in the in the in-game lore. Now, Lilia doesn't actually have any any manga or anime lore. She's an OC. She's an original character. But if you read her story and her backstory, and if you look at her associations, she has them with Merlin because they trained together. Well. They trained together. Merlin trained Lilia. Lilia was Merlin's apprentice. So it makes sense that they are closely connected and closely linked. So it makes sense to... Oh, you guys can't see because I'm blocking the thing. Okay. So if we go for, we go for the associations, you can see here. So Merlin trained Lilia. So it makes sense to me that they would be on a banner together. But they're not going to be on a banner together as a step up for Merlin because it's they're not going to do that. Now, they could do a regular non-step up banner for Merlin and Lilia and give us 10 pulls of that, that would be admittedly worse. Uh, it's much, much worse for free to plays, especially because a lot of them are banking up exactly 242 diamonds to at least guarantee one copy of Lilia. So if they converted her into a regular banner instead of a step up, I think that would be a bad move. But that is just my, that is just like another thing that could happen. But my speculation is really that we're going to see, you know, they're going to continue the trend of original characters getting step up banners. You know, they know that original characters don't have as much um, flavor, and they're not as uh, well known, obviously, and they're not as popular as actual manga or anime characters, right? Like you've seen all, if you've watched the anime, you've read the manga, you've seen all these characters, except for her and then the slime collab characters, but the collab units are advertised separately and it's limited edition, etc. So they know that these characters are just inherently less popular. Now, they can become more popular over, over time, and maybe Global is taking a look at the marketing and seeing, okay, all these JP YouTubers and all these articles came out and advertised Lilia so many times, so maybe her popularity has risen to the point where we can cash in and bank in on this character more, but maybe not. So it, it's understandable to me why they would make all the OCs step up banners. It's much more appealing. It makes you want to go at least one rotation on the character to obtain them. And it gives the characters more value. It gives them this unique flavor. They're all step up banners. They have some, you know, uh, predictability. So it creates this uh, recognition in the player's mind, you know, banner after banner when they come even months apart. And you start to grow uh, some kind of connection with the original characters because they are all step up banners. And most of them are just hot girls. Let's be honest. Uh, besides Shin, they've all just been like busty chicks. Uh, beside, well, well, I mean, you could you could call them busty. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that is my speculation. I really hope it comes true personally because I think it would be a huge uh, uplifting moment for Global. Obviously, I love free stuff, and uh, one free Blue Lilia, which is what the full ten steps of the banner would uh, promise. If it's a step up banner like Green Lilia was, it would promise at minimum one copy of Blue Lilia for all Global players. Um, I also bring up this speculation because if it's true, 
then that means that the 100 day event would be the absolute best time to re-roll your account if you're a brand new player now i'll make a separate video about that and i know there's a lot of players that are jumping on the game now um recently because they've seen blue demon meliotis and they like him and he looks cool you know he's, he's cooler than some other characters that we've gotten since uh, escanor so i know a lot of players are re-rolling now on global for blue Melly, blue demon Melly. a lot of people on my twitch chat but um if you don't re-roll for blue demon Melly, or if you re-roll and don't get him and get tired and then just drop the game because you know you want to start off with a strong character and you know you're not, not going to spend days re-rolling um then you may want to wait to see what the 100 day banner is going to be we should have more information like i said in about a week and a half or a little bit less than that um but yeah let me know what you guys think of the speculation that i that i put out there obviously worst case scenario it's like whatever uh, a, Mer a blue merlin green matrona diane sins banner that we get 10 multis on and then they have that banner in addition to a separate uh solo step up banner for lilia i mean that wouldn't even be that bad because uh green matrona diane is a good farming unit and if you can get multiple copies of her through the 10 multis you can get multiple um association levels for the base stats for king which is nice if you don't have multiple levels on red or blue matrona diane Dion. um and then yeah and then merlin otherwise if i'm right this is going to be absolutely incredible for global and you know what if i if i'm not right and if the devs haven't made up their mind yet hey listen global devs for seven deadly sins grand cross you are more than welcome to take my idea and run with it I think it would give you tons of goodwill and it would build up a lot of positive vibes in the global community for this game and more players than ever would be you know willing to, to throw cash and 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 dish out the big bucks your way because you're treating global players right ultimately at the end of the day that's all i want to see i want to see global players treated well i want us to get really cool events and rewards i'm used to being treated like trash in marvel future fight as a veteran player so i have lower expectations in this game but we definitely need to see something mega spicy for the 100 day celebration so hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of my idea my my speculation and i will see you in the next one take care